Hello everyone, this time I would like to share two simple tips for improving the look of underwire bra cups. If you are not very familiar with underwire bras and their structure, let me explain a little bit. So at the base of the cup there is a special tunnel structure that basically helps shaping the breast. So this is the cup and this is the tunnel part. In real life garments, within that tunnel there is a shaped metal wire inserted, hence the name underwire bra. Unfortunately in Chloe we can't simulate the wire itself, however with some tricks you can visualize pretty much the same look. Here I have prepared a simple bastille because it is a simple shape, I made the underwire part uh, with only one pattern piece like this. But of course it is also possible to make the structure as it is in real life with several layers though as I mentioned you can't put a wire inside, that's a limitation of the software. As for the overall look, my intention is to visualize the shape of an underwire bra, so the underwire part should be close to the body and the cup part should be firm, though of course there are underwire bras where the cup is only lace fabric and it is not firm, but in this case I'm going for the firm look. As you can see in the current simulation, which is based on only pattern relationships, the underwire part is not laying close to the body and the cup is not firm. So how to improve this? Very simple. Tip number one is to attach the underwire pattern piece to the body. If you have already seen videos about making bras, you probably already know that for this it is recommended to use avatar measure tape. However, I will show you the lazy way how to add it. So when I started visualizing bras, I researched how to do it in the best way and I learned to use this surface tape measure. This of course also works, but it's a little bit difficult to create a nice smooth shape and also in simulations I often saw a lot of issues with the triangles that they were kind of sticking out and there was no way how to fix it and I had to use pins to fix it so it wasn't always the best result. And then one day I was feeling very lazy and I thought maybe there's an easier way how to do it and then I, I thought why can't I just add like circumference <laughs> and so I did and it worked very well. So how to add this uh, surface circumference measure? You have to define three points on avatar. So here as I have simulated uh, the bustier already, I have at least a little bit of reference points. So I can place one point here and then maybe one point around here and then one point here. So the goal here is to create this line parallel to the base of the breast, so something like this, and then as you place the third point, the tape is put on the avatar and then you can check from all angles whether the position is okay or not. So I think in this case it is okay, so I will attach the pattern to this line. And how to do that? Usually here you can see this icon, but when you click and hold, you will be able to see attach to measure avatar, so that's the function that I can use to attach this pattern piece to the line. So that these cups are not um, in the way, I usually hide them and then I use this tool, attach to measure, click on the edge of this underwire tunnel pattern piece and then I click on the measure and that's it. And when you simulate you can see it's nicely attached to the tape. And that's pretty much it. In this case I'm using Daz avatar, so this great function doesn't work on these kind of avatars, but if you're working on close avatar, when you create uh, this measure tape, you can also duplicate to symmetric position, so you don't have to create another one. And that's very convenient, I think. However, it's not difficult to create a symmetrical line also on your custom avatars. So how to do that? Just I usually just delete the other cup, and then I copy and paste the existing perfect cup to the other side and I place it right next to it so if you do that Chloe will place all the patterns symmetrically like this so if we check you can see it lays close to the body and I think the position is pretty much perfectly symmetrical and then I hide the cups here and I pick the same surface circumference measure tool and then I can place the points more or less symmetrically as well just by checking their position on, on the original side so somewhere like this, and then one is at the base, somewhere like here. Okay, looks good. And now I can use attach to measure. I will move, oops, 
I will move the pattern a little bit away so it's easier to understand. So click first on the edge and then on the measure tape and simulate and then it's attached. One thing to keep in mind is that whenever you cut this pattern piece you will lose that attachment so you will have to attach it again. So that's kind of only disadvantage when you use this. But I think, at least in my experience, it's a pretty bulletproof trick. It never fails, I think. <laughs> anyway, and tip number two of this video is how to get firm cups. So that is very easy. For now, the cups have the base material, which is easily bendable. As you can see here, it creates some wrinkle. So for cups, I usually use a certain fabric and that is trim full grain leather. So it has low stretch values, high bend and high buckling stiffness. So this kind of combination of values ensures that whatever you're simulating, it will be really smooth like this. And the last thing that I wanted to mention here, that's also a huge advantage when you are using these um, measure lines, you can easily change pose and also use these in animation. For example, let me open one pose. So because these lines are always following the avatar, so that means uh, this pattern piece is always following the line. So it will never move away from the avatar, it will not get distorted, so it will keep the shape, so it's very good. However, if you do have some kind of issues when you use it and it does affect the shape, another alternative for that is to use pin box. So with this tool in 2D, you can select all the triangles of these two pattern pieces here. And then in 3D, right click on the pins and you will find attach all pins to avatar. And then the pins will change color to red and all the pins will be moved towards avatar's surface and those will be attached. So if you want to use this method, I do suggest you first do the simulation of the whole garment with low additional thickness collision. So as you know, this is the distance that the pattern piece is trying to keep around itself. And also Avatar has this distance, which is called skin offset. So make sure to put this on zero, as well as put um, additional thickness collision to 0 0.5, and then simulate, and then add the pins, and then attach the pins to the Avatar. Otherwise there might be some like distorted shapes happening. Okay, so this is it for the video. I hope these tips are useful in your work and thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye!